the listings. This will be our Unit 5 test review video, and this one will be Part 1. We're just going to go ahead and get started. We need to graph the solution to this inequality. In order to do that, I must first solve for y, so I have to get rid of the x term. So y is less than 2x plus 5. So I graph the y-intercept of 5. And then I have a slope of positive 2. So if I go up 1, I go right 2. So if I go down, I go left. Plot as many points as possible within the space provided. This is a strictly less than, so it means my line is going to be dashed. So let's go through each of the points and put a little bit of a line, but don't connect them. And then because it's less than, we're going to shade below. I'm going to shade lightly because I'm also going to have to graph some solutions. So first, name one point in the solution set and one point not in the solution set. So in the solution set would be like this point here, over 3 and up 1. It's in the shaded area. This point here is not a solution. Because it is strictly less than, we do not have anything on the line being part of the solution. So this point here, negative 1, 3, is not a solution. But the point positive 3, 1 is a solution because it's in the shaded area. For number 2, we need to solve for x and then graph our solution. So we get 6x minus 12 is less than 2x minus 4. We have variables on both sides, so I'm going to eliminate the smaller of the two. So I end up with 4x minus 12 is less than negative 4. Add 12 to both sides, so we get 4x is less than 8. Divide by 4. Because I'm dividing by a positive 4, I do not have to change the symbol x is less than 2 is the solution that we came up with to graph that. We put an open circle at 2 because this is strictly less than and we then shade to the left because towards the left is where the smaller numbers are. For number 3 we have two graphs here. We have to write an equation for each that is in standard form. So first we need the slope and the intercept. So we have an intercept of 3, a slope is negative looks like negative 2. So our equation in slope-intercept form is negative 2x plus 3. But they didn't ask for slope-intercept form, they asked for standard form. That means that the x term and the y term need to be on the same side. So we'll just get rid of this negative 2x over there by adding 2x to both sides. And there we have our equation in standard form. Or, whoops. And I said equals, and I shouldn't have said equals. This is a dashed line shaded above, so this is actually greater than. So this should all be greater than. So that we get the inequality, not an equation. So because this is a dashed line, we don't have equals. Because it's shaded above, we get greater than. For the second example, the slope is also negative 2, and the intercept is 3. This time we have a solid line and we are shaded below, so our inequality symbol is less than or equal to. We're still going to have a negative 2x plus 3. We still need to put it into standard form, so we're just going to add 2x to both sides. And again, because we haven't multiplied or divided, the symbol stays the same. For number 4, Aaron has purchased a plastic cooler and some cold beverages for a trip to the beach. She knows the cooler costs $8, but there are several different options and sizes and cost of drinks from which to choose. The maximum price of any drink is $1.25. Write the inequality that could be used to determine C, the cost of purchasing the cooler and determine, or sorry, purchasing the cooler and in drinks. So, C. C is a maximum, so it is going to be less than or equal to $1.25 per drink plus the $8. The total cost should be either equal to this because the maximum cost for a drink was 125 
or it's going to be smaller than that because the cost of a drink would have been less than that. For number five, this will be the last one for this part of the review. It says, for what value of B does the graph represent the solution? Y is less than 1 fourth X plus B. Well, B is our y-intercept, so in this case, b would be 2. So that concludes part one of the test review video.